Hi guys, my name is Maz De La Serna, and I'm an author, breathwork facilitator, Reiki master, energy healer, and coach. That was a freaking mouthful. Yeah, I'm a bit of a jack of all trades and I used to just be an author and a coach and as I'm growing, um, my programs, my services and offerings are just evolving as well. But long story short, I help people heal so that they can transform their lives. In today's video, I want to talk about signs that you are having a spiritual awakening. Um, and if you relate to any of these signs, you're probably awakening. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear that in the background, but it's actually been raining here for the last few days. Hence why I'm in my gown and all crazy and comfy. The first sign of you having a spiritual awakening is you will start questioning life. You're going to question the meaning and like wonder what is the point? Why are we here? Do we just live and die? Is this all there is to life? Is there more? If you find yourself starting to question the meaning of life, why you're living, what the purpose is, what your purpose is, questioning everything and if there is more to than what you are experiencing or seeing that is the number one sign you are starting to awaken sign number two if all of a sudden you are reevaluating your job and questioning it maybe you're at a stage where you just can't get out of bed like you're like I cannot go to this job anymore and it's just sucking the life out of your soul and I've totally been there. It's the most horrible feeling. It's just like I need the money, but I don't want to go. And you just know in your soul, in your gut, that what you're doing right now for a living is not what you're supposed to be doing. And the thought of having to do that for the rest of your life is excruciatingly painful and scary as hell. If you are questioning your purpose in life and reevaluating and asking yourself why you're doing this job, is this all there is? Is there more? And just have this feeling in your gut that there is a bigger purpose, that you're supposed to be doing something else, chances are you are. And you're finally just coming into alignment and realizing the fact that you have a soul mission on this planet you were born to do something other than what you're doing right now yes it brings you the bills yes it's brought you to where you are now but you have a bigger purpose and your soul is now awakening because you're starting to become ready to start living that purpose and when you're ready to start living that purpose it's gonna bubble and it'll bubble inside you that it will bubble so much that you won't be able to ignore it and the more you ignore it the worse it will get for you in your current job where it's just draining you don't want to go you don't want to get out of bed you know it's so toxic and the people around you are just you're just feeling so repelled because you know this is not where you're supposed to be if you're starting to feel like that when it comes to your job, it's a sign that you are awakening and it's the universe's way of being able to help guide you onto the path that you're supposed to be on. Another sign is losing friends or just reevaluating your friendships. I've been there. You know what? We have friends and some people are lucky to have friends they've known all their lives. Sometimes people are only meant to stay in our lives for a season, you know, for a month, for a couple of years, you know, not for the lifetime. Sometimes we'll know people for a certain amount of time. We grow apart and then later we'll come back together. Everyone on our path is a reflection of how we feel inside and if you are starting to elevate and starting to, starting to awaken and your vibration is moving to a higher level 
people on the lower vibrations are not going to resonate with you anymore. And that's completely okay. So if you are starting to awaken, chances are you're going to start one, it might feel a bit lonely and you'll start looking at your friends and the people around you being like, why can't I be myself? You know, you're going to have this deep feeling inside you where you're feeling like you can't authentically be you. Maybe they don't understand the stuff that you're starting to understand yourself. Maybe you're just over all the gossip and the other surface level chat and you craving wanting something more meaningful, having a connection more deeper, you know? And then if you try to do that with your friends, it just doesn't resonate, you know? They're still in that other level and other energetic field while you're over here and that's completely okay. It's not saying that anyone is better than the other. It's just everything is energy and once you start raising your vibration, you're no longer going to be a match for people sitting on another vibration. The journey will get lonely for a while, that I will not deny, but once we start letting go of the people and the things around us that are keeping us down, what will happen is we will start to elevate and start getting into a higher vibrational alignment. And that once we start doing that because we're working on ourselves, everything is energy we will start attracting in like-minded friends like-minded people that resonate that are also elevating that are also on now your energetic alignment that are about spiritual development and personal growth that are about healing and wanting to be a better person that you can be authentically you and they accept you and you know there is no gossip or backstabbing or any of the that toxic behavior because once you start changing your frequency changes and when your frequency changes the people around you will as well because that's what you will attract in everything is energy another sign that you will be awakening is when you start doing that shadow work and start working on your healing you might start to look at yourself and be like wow I can see that I have been repeating a pattern my whole entire life and the reason for this pattern is because when I was a child, this happened. It all makes sense now. Or maybe you will start recognizing toxic behaviors, reactions, and thoughts that you yourself have that you know needs to change. On the path to spiritual awakening, we will start waking up to ourselves. We start to be conscious of our thoughts, our behaviors, our actions who we are, why we do things, why we think the way we do, why we've put up certain defense mechanisms and walls, why we get triggered, why we react or why our feelings get hurt at certain things, why we just understand why we are the way we are. And we get to a point where we actually have this deep, deep, pull to want to be better we start to accept our flaws our mistakes we start to understand our shadow side we start to actually face the things that we didn't want to face about ourselves and admit it and you know what at first it doesn't feel good because sometimes you might be like holy crap i was a shitty person or oh my god i've allowed all this stuff to happen to me or whatever revelation it is but it's actually so beautiful and at the time it might not feel like it it might be scary it might be confronting it might even be painful but it is actually part of the beautiful process because once we start to accept who we are understand who we are and have compassion and love for who we are that starts to reflect out and the thing is we will start understanding the people around us and the people around us that have hurt us instead of holding resentment and hate and anger towards them what will actually happen on the path to awakening is we'll start to understand them have compassion for them and understand just like us they were just reflecting out and projecting their own pain their trauma their hurts 
and the way they were is really a reflection of them and their upbringing and their own defense mechanisms and their own traumas and pain their own shadow side and they're just projecting just like we did so if you start looking at yourself accepting yourself your flaws everything about you and understanding how and why you are the way you are and that everything that has happened good or bad has brought you to this very moment now you are having a spiritual awakening and the very last sign that i want to share today on the way to your spiritual awakening journey and a massive sign that you are having an awakening is if in your soul in your gut you have a how oh, what's the word to describe it like this intense passionate fire burning inside you this deep desire to want to help others whatever that may be and you want to give back and you know your purpose is bigger than just getting a paycheck it's about changing other people's lives in a way that it betters them whether it's through coaching teaching writing art music whatever your service may be just helping others so that their lives can be better in somewhat way and if you have that deep desire that passion maybe you're at a stage where you are not sure exactly how it is you want to help you just know you want to help that is such a beautiful sign that you are on the start of your spiritual awakening journey because your soul is starting to wake up to the fact that you're here for a purpose you have a mission on this world and what actually happens is when we start realizing that we're here for something bigger other than ourselves we will start to attract the right people things circumstances the right mentors teachers coaches messages that we'll hear songs that certain lyrics would just pop up and really stick to us or read something in a book and it really resonates into our soul maybe watch a youtube video where it's like speaking to your soul and that maybe you hear the same messages over and over again or see synchronicities and all of this that's the start of your spiritual awakening and as scary and as lonely and as a painful as it can be it's actually a beautiful process because once you get through this on the other side is a whole other world a whole other way of being and living and feeling and it's beautiful so please don't be scared please don't be down trust and know that this is a beautiful process and you're on the way to such magnificent things I just cannot express that anymore and if you are struggling with this healing process and awakening process do not hesitate to reach out this is what I do I do help others heal and I help people with many things that I'm not about to list because I attempted to do that at the beginning of the video but I'll post the links down below if you want to learn more about what I do anyway I hope this video helps you today guys um, and if you did resonate with it and you do relate to any of these signs drop a comment down below I love getting feedback um, I'm going to do another part two shortly and it's going to be the physical signs that you were having a spiritual awakening but I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching until next time guys